Hi, I'm Arenia, an alumna of the first Beyond AI cohort. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to prepare your schedule for the program. Since Beyond AI is a fully remote international program, the first thing you need to be aware of are session times and daylight saving hours. All our times are given in CEST, but they will transition to CET in October. So please do mind the switch. During the course stage, you will learn the maths of AI, the fundamentals of AI and essential research skills. You will also be given an introduction to AI in Python. Our sessions are interactive, so we expect live participation. However, we still do accept applicants who are unable to participate live due to time zone differences. If you're based in Europe, Africa, the Middle East or Asia up to India, we do expect you to attend live. If you are outside these time zones and cannot attend live, you'll have to complete working through the recording of each live session within 24 hours of its scheduled time. If you're in the UK, we understand that you might have afternoon activities or be traveling home at the time of the sessions during the weekdays. You should still attend live as much as possible, even if you have to join late. In this section, I will walk you through the program schedule. You can find this on the thinkingbeyond.education slash beyondair website, which we will link to this video. Just scroll down to the check out our detailed schedule button and click on it. This will take you to a page where you will find the preliminary schedule of a program. Here, you will find a link to the Beyond AI Google Calendar. Clicking on this link will add the Beyond AI Calendar to your personal calendar. This is an example of the Beyond AI Calendar combined with my personal calendar. If I head over to the second week of September when the program begins, you may notice that I already have a few slots booked in for classes and commuting, and also some of the time blocks where I have personal commitments or errands. Doing so will help me decide which times I can dedicate for the program. I'm based in Sri Lanka, so the Beyond AI sessions are at night time for me. On average, I can expect around six hours of sessions per week. Now, it's important to recall that there will be mandatory consolidation exercises or team assignments, for which you will need around one hour extra each day. Altogether, you can expect around 13 to 16 hours of work per week. Since your teammates may be from different parts of the world, you will most likely work asynchronously. You may notice that apart from my time zone, I also have Lebanon time and GMT on the side panel. This is because my teammates are from those time zones. Doing so helps with consistency in our schedules and planning meeting times. The program time is consistent for the most part. The original course has now been extended by three consolidation weeks because we want to accommodate for the fact that you have to deal with university or school in parallel to the program. In these weeks, there won't be any live sessions. Two of these weeks will be in the course stage. You will be asked to do review and consolidation work. You should also use these weeks to complete your bigger team tasks. Otherwise, these are the weeks you should focus on catching up with university and school work. It's also the weeks where you should schedule in your exam prep for any potential exams you might have. The last consolidation week will be during the research stage. This means there are five weeks scheduled for your research project and seven days for catching up with university and school work and any potential exam prep, of course. Having a schedule like this ensures that you don't fall off track during your consolidation weeks and is caught up with everything. It is important that you do your part in your team as your teammates rely on you, but it's also important for you to stay healthy and dedicate enough time for relaxation. So make sure that you get six to eight hours of continuous sleep and have your meals on time. Not only does this help with your health, but it will also help you stay concentrated and grasp things better. Once you have prepared your schedule, take a screenshot of the weekly view of your Google Calendar and copy it over to a Google Sheet. Bear in mind that you have to take a screenshot of the weekly view, not the monthly view. Repeat this for all 12 weeks. So your Google document should have screenshots of all 12 weeks allocated for the program. 
In the same document, write some comments explaining your schedule, potential crunch points and how you plan to deal with them. Examples for potential crunch points include exams, doctor's appointments, planned trips or mandatory camps at school or university, and competitions or hackathons that you are planning to participate in. You need to let us know in detail how you plan to keep up with these weekly commitments for the program alongside your potential crunch points. Think 12 weeks ahead starting from the second week of September and take your time to make a realistic schedule. You can only build expertise if you learn actively rather than passively. This is why we will be giving you preparation and consolidation tasks. The prep tasks already give you a first understanding of the topic. So why are there live sessions then? Because there you will be learning the stuff that are hard to find on YouTube or in textbooks. That's one of the reasons why the live sessions are so valuable. They provide you with a researcher's insight. I hope this video gave you a good insight on the schedule of the Beyond AI program. We look forward to seeing your applications. Good luck and thank you for watching.